welcome to Ultimate Acres. If you're new here and you enjoy this video, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell and select all for notifications so you won't miss any future videos. Also, be sure to check out my community. It is new as I just reached enough subscribers to enable it. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'm also trying to connect more with all of you through the community message board. We are also playing a game there, so be sure and read the details. Since I always discuss the mare's milk test on my foal cam and how close I think they are to foaling based on the test results, I thought you might like a video to show how it's done. And for those that breed and have not used this test, you might like instructions. But first, I'll go out and collect milk from my mare, Mandy. Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you today how I milk the girls when I'm gonna do the foaling prediction test with the pool test strips. And normally, I stand on the left side and I reach over to the teat on the right side because they're more likely to kick if they're gonna kick on the side that you're messing with the teat. But you still have to be careful. You need to work with your girls beforehand. You want to make sure that they'll allow you to touch their udders and work with their udders before they have a full bag of milk and they're sore. So anyways, Mandy is due June 1st. She doesn't have a full bag yet, so I know she's not close to foaling, but she's usually pretty easy to get some milk out of even when she's, you know, not ready to fold. So I figured she would be a good one to uh, to use for us. So. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. There you go, good girl. We're back now and we will discuss the supplies needed. I will put an affiliate link to some of them in the description below. I used to use the Predictiful test strips, but they get quite expensive if you're testing several mares. I actually like the pool test strips better as you can look at both the calcium and the pH on the pool strips. First, you will need distilled water. You cannot use tap water. It must be distilled water. Tap water can change the test result depending on how hard or how soft your water is. You can buy distilled water at any grocery store. Next, you will need the water quality test strips that test hardness and pH. I prefer the Hatch AquaCheck 5-in-1. I like the increments in the hardness, which is testing for calcium. Some strips have big gaps between increments, and it may seem like the mare is not progressing when she is, just not enough to change the next square on the strip. AquaCheck 5-in-1 has a nice gradual increase. Next, you will need a milk collection cup. I like to use the clear one ounce plastic shot glasses. I like a disposable cup as washing with tap water can leave a residue on the collection cup that can affect next test. If you decide to use a reusable cup, be sure to rinse the cup out well with distilled water to help remove all tap water. Next, you will need a one milliliter syringe for measuring the mare's milk. I like to buy syringes that are in a protective tube. I use the tube for my testing tube, so I get two things for the price of one. As mentioned above, I will have a link in the description. You will also need a six milliliter syringe for measuring the distilled water. It can be a larger, mine is a 12 milliliter because I'm going to do two tests. The last thing you will need is something to hold your testing tube upright to make it easier for you. I use my old Predictifol box for this. It has a special slot. Okay, now let's get into the testing details. If possible, I prefer to get one milliliter of milk 
mixed with six milliliters of distilled water. This fills up my testing tube better and makes it easier for dipping the test strip. But if you can't get one milliliter of milk, you can use half a milliliter of milk to three milliliters of distilled water. You do not have to worry about the mare not having enough colostrum for the foal. You are not taking enough to make an impact. Odds are she will leak more waxing and dripping milk before foaling anyways. Okay, let's now test Mandy's and Dottie's milk. They are both due June 1st, but Dottie's milk is much whiter than Mandy's, so I expect Dottie's going to foal early. I just hope not earlier than May 14th, her 320th day. So here is Mandy's milk, and here is Dottie's milk. You can see a difference in the color. Mandy's is more yellow. Okay, so here's my one milliliter syringe in its protective tube. I have my little spot to put my tube in. I'm going to get one milliliter of milk And I'll put it in the testing. And then six cc's of water. Then I put the cap on and I just mix it a little. And I like to look at the color to see if it's white or getting white. It'll get whiter and whiter the closer to foaling. Then you get one of your test strips out. And you have your squares on your strip and on the bottle you have your directions. So I don't know if you can see on there, but this one is hardness and the bottom one is pH. And to know what square to look at, the strip lines up with each of those. So the hardness will be the third, one, two, three, and the pH will be the fifth. So I'm gonna dunk it in. And just a quick dunk. And then you can compare. And remember the third So she is around the third square for the calcium. Remember, it is the third square on the strip. And then you compare across to see what color she is closest to. So she is closest to the third square. And then we go to the pH. And she hasn't changed at all. She's on the last square for the pH. So we've got a little ways to go, which we knew because her milk was more yellow. Now I'm going to throw this tube away because I don't want to reuse a tube. And get my new tube. And now I'm going to get some of Dottie's milk. We might be close for almost, yay! Might be a smidge shy, not quite. We'll see how close we get. And then six cc's of water. And then again, mix it up. And you can see Dottie's is whiter than Mandy's was. New test strip. Dunk. And then again compare. It's the same thing. We're going by the third one and then we check across. So she looks like she's probably in between 
and then pH, she's a little lighter, she's in between. pH is starting to drop, but not much. So definitely not tonight. We'll test her again tomorrow. When they get this close, I test them daily. When they're like Mandy, I test every three days or more. So that is how you test a mare's milk with the pool test strips or the water quality test strips. Now for reading the test strip, for the calcium, you go from low to high. When she gets all the way up to there, she's closest to foaling. Now they might turn all the squares here, but the pH hasn't dropped yet. So the calcium won't go any higher than that. You're waiting now for the pH. The pH starts at the high end and you want it to drop to the low end. If they get to 6.8, I keep a very close eye because they can change to 6.2 fast. So if I check in the evening before bed, they could be at 6.2 before morning and foal early in the morning. So if they get to 6.8, I keep a close eye on them. If they're at 6.2, I keep a very close eye on them. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great day.